Hello and welcome. I came out to film a different kind of video and as I stopped for lunch I noticed this. Illegal dumping. And this is garden waste and I know because you can tell. If you look closely it's all in neat little piles that it's obviously been in some bags. I know the signs, I do it myself, put stuff in bags. But let's have a closer look. Okay, we've got some birch there. Uh, we've got some things, I'm not quite sure what they are there. Uh, bits of rose, maybe. Yeah, bits of rose. Um, some other kinds of things, bits of bramble. And here we've got that native British plant, bamboo. Obviously it's not native, that's why I'm saying it like that. Uh, below that there is some willow there. I can tell that's willow. And worst of all, we have those. Now I don't know what they are, I can't recognise them. I know there's some kind of bulb of something. But they've now been dumped in the wild to naturalise and do what non-native species do, which is very often kill the native species or cross, cross with it until it dies out. Uh, look at the red squirrels and the grey squirrels for an example and what's happening to the bluebells and the way, prim um, and the way cowslips are being uh, hybridised with Primula. So if you employ gardeners, these aren't professionals doing this. This is, this is amateurs who are obviously charging less and because you have to pay, you have to, pay to dump this if, you're a, if you've got a van and you're a professional. So that should be paid by the client. Now, if you're someone who employs gardeners and you're not prepared to pay to take the stuff away, then you are complicit in this. And it's, I mean, as you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty angry about it because people probably think, people who don't understand nature, posing as gardeners, probably think that's fine, it's only some nature, it'll all rot down. Well, what do you, how do you know? How do you know what's in it? If you look at Dutch elm disease, that came over in elms from Holland. I don't think it originated there but that's that's where it, the cause of it. The imported plants or plants in gardens can very often get attacked by other insects and stuff that aren't very good for native British plants. So if you employ gardeners or you are a gardener you must I must stress, and you must stress to your client, that this needs to be taken away and disposed of properly. Things like apples, though, may be slightly different, and we can allow for certain things. Native stuff could be, but it shouldn't be dumped anyway. Not like that, not in large amounts. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please bear this in mind. I'll see you next time. Ta-da!